Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, Saucy Effects. I'm doing the particular tutorial. Particular. Um, so let me just jump right into it. The plugin you will need is Trap Code Particular. So just make sure you have that before doing it. Uh, go ahead and make your composition. Let me just adjust my settings. To uh, there we go. Um, so right off the bat, we're going to make a new null object. So layer new null object. Uh, and what we're going to do is grab the pen tool and we're going to mask out the path we want our particular to follow. So let's say we want it to go from here, down here, around here, down here, okay. And then we have that, so we're going to hit M on our keyboard to bring up the mask and click on mask path and command C or control C. Copy it, go to position by hitting P on your keyboard and then paste it. So now what you'll see is this will travel down like this um, and you can also change it after it's done. This won't like make a new keyframe or anything. And you can adjust the speed by doing this um, kind of straightforward. So yeah, so that's how you do that. So like right now it's pretty slow. Well, no, it's, yeah, it's like a, it'll travel over like three, under, under three seconds. Um, So once you're done with that, you're going to make a new null, uh, sorry, a new solid. Or you, you can do this or just hit command Y or control Y. Um, and then you're going to get particular on here. Uh, so, effect, or you can just search up in the bar. I just prefer doing this because it's my habit. Trap code, particular, okay. Now, immediately, it's just going to look like that, and that's definitely what we're not uh, trying to achieve. So, uh, right off the bat, right off the bat, oh, I say that a lot. Uh, <laughs> hit option on your keyboard, and then hit position XY while holding option down. Okay, it's going to bring up this. Um, grab this tool. It's like it's called a pick whip or parenting. Uh, that doesn't matter. But drag it and then drag it onto position and hold it there. Just drag it over it and release it. Okay. Now what this will do is it will make the particular follow that path. Okay. Now this is really not what we're looking for. And particular, particular. Uh, you can make it look a ton of different ways. So um, you can really just the settings, there's so much settings, you can make it do a ton of different stuff, but I'll just show you a simple, simple way that looks pretty good to do it today. So, particles a second, it's pretty straightforward, it's just particles, it's how many particles there are pretty much, so let's just make it like 550, okay. Um, and the velocity, this is another big one, this is how it's going to spread, okay. So, uh, I usually put it like 25, maybe even 30. You can mess with that, okay, but, yeah, 30 should be good for now. Um, velocity random, we'll do like 10, velocity, 0, velocity from motion, it's going to make it like, kind of go off its course a little bit, so if you turn it to 0, you see it's in the exact course, so I like it at like 5, yeah, it should be good. Um, and if you turn it higher, it's going to like come on the screen, like the whole thing, like the end. So five, five's good in my opinion. Um, now let's go into our particle settings. Life per sec, life second, life a second. I can't talk today. Um, it's gonna make so the particles will last for that many seconds before disappearing. So just keep that three. Um, size, I turn that down to four or three. Yeah, four looks good. And then we're gonna do size random at like fifteen. Uh, opacity over life. If basically what this will do is just make the opacity go down. You can do this and like make it like this and then as it'll go, the opacity will get lighter, which is good. So I would do that if I were you. Um color, you can either make it one color and just select it here, but what I do is color over life. Okay, now hit this little drop down menu, it says color over life. And we're gonna make like a just a blue and white. Usually there's presets here you can choose from, but I don't know why they don't show up for me sometimes. Um, so you can just randomize it, or you can make your own to, to change this. Just double click these things. So double click that will make it go white. Also white. Go ahead and make it like a little bit of light blue. And then this is pretty much how you would do it. And boom. So now you've got this, which is already looking pretty good in my opinion. Simple, but looks nice and clean. 
Um, now, a really big thing that can make it look a ton different is aux system, which stands for auxiliary system. So go ahead and turn on uh, continu. I just can't speak today. Um, consistently, no, continuously. I'm sorry. Um, so emit prob emit probability. Uh, that's kind of straightforward. Is how often it'll emit. So it's turning on 100. If you're trying to get it to look like this, particles a second. Make more particles. That's way too many. Maybe 15. Yeah, that's good. Life a second. How long it'll take something to like disappear. So we turn it way up. Then it's gonna look like that. So this is looking pretty cool already. Yeah, I like that. Turn it to five. This is looking really cool, I'm not gonna lie. Um so right now it's like this color by itself. Oh and velocity, it's also pretty simple. You can make it like that. It looks kinda weird, but so let's leave it at zero, it doesn't need to be any lower. I'll make the size four. Yeah. Uh three point five. Uh, four. <laughs> and then the color from main, if you want it to look like your main one, boom, you can do that. Uh, it's messing with the settings a little bit. So, yeah, that looks pretty cool, actually. The so color from main. Uh, I would usually turn that on, um, unless you want it to look like that, which looks pretty cool. Also, uh, you can measure all this stuff, too. You make the velocity different, it'll look like that. And also, you can remember when you have to use this, but if you want it to look like that, then you can, so feel free to. Um, but yeah, anyways, this is pretty much how you use it, and I highly recommend, if you want to get into using triplet particular, um, practice using it a lot, getting used to making these nulls and pick whipping the position, and then also just mesh with the settings a lot, okay? That's the best thing you can do for yourself if you want to be good with it, that's how I learned. You pretty much you can watch some tutorials, but then you just gotta mess with settings and make your own. Um, and yes, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Also, if you guys are having trouble making the settings or want it to be easier, I have a preset pack with eight or ten uh, particular presets on my cell phone. Um, so you can check that out. The link will be in the description. And to use those, you just drag the particular preset on, and then hit Alt to reset it, and then hit Alt again, like our option when you're holding. Hold that option and click this and do the same thing with the position. And that's uh, pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions or uh, requests, comment them below. But yeah, that's it for today.